Well, if you've been out to DIA lately, you may have noticed some of those incredibly long security lines. Today, we asked about those lines as the airport shared plans for the future. Mike Lebeda is out at the airport at DIA for so Michael, the airport seeing record number of passengers fly through the airport lately. Yeah, that's right, Karen. You know, the CEO of this airport says the largest or the most of the problems that they face operationally are due to just that, the growing number of passengers that are coming through DIA. And he says that's not going to change anytime soon. So I think what we'll see is some relief. Wednesday morning, Denver International Airport CEO Phil Washington updated the public about how things are going at the airport. Top of mind for he and many is the long security wait times many have been experiencing. He says blame the Great Hall project. Listen, it's tough constructing something and people are still walking through. He says he's determined to eliminate those long waits, so early in 2024, they will be opening a newly built North security checkpoint. It will have state-of-the-art technology, which they hope will get passengers through security faster, which is good because DIA is seeing more and more every year. People have made a decision uh, to travel. Washington anticipates they'll average 100 million annual passengers sooner than anticipated, which means in addition to the Great Hall, they have some work to do. First up, cracking down on car thefts from airport parking lots. DIA is installing new halo cameras in parking areas and deploying drone surveillance. One car that's stolen out here is one car too many. The airport is also studying how to alleviate traffic on Pena Boulevard, and they announced the launch of a new construction project that will be completed by 2045. They're adding four new walkable concourses with 100 new gates. But those will be invisible, I think, to the passenger. In the meantime, the airport will likely still have growing pains. We ask the public and travelers to bear with us. Now, another challenge Washington discussed is that the TSA has for some reason determined that DIA needs less agents this year than they had last year. He said he is working with the federal government to see what kind of solution they can come to on that front. At DIA, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado first. All right, Michael, we'll see what happens. Thank you. Well, there is still time to pick up your.